Texas inmates in jail for crimes now hailed as heroes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cynthia Seguirre in for Shelley Slater. I'm John McKay. Investigators say that inmates at the Parker County Jail were able to save a jailer's life when he suddenly fell over from an apparent heart attack. And they did all of this while shackled. Channel 8's Jim Douglas live tonight in Parker County where he spoke to the inmates this afternoon. Jim. John, we haven't heard one quite like this before. A jailer might very well be alive tonight thanks to the inmates he was guarding here at the Parker County Courts Building. And they put themselves at some risk to help him. At least eight prisoners behind a locked door. One armed guard across the room. Watch the lower part of the screen as the guard suddenly slumps unconscious. He just, you know, fell over and I thought it looked like an act or something. I mean, you know, he died right there, man. Nick Kelton and other inmates shouted for help, then managed to bust out of their holding room, even though they knew that was dangerous. I was a little worried because when they, they're going to come with their guns drawn on us. The guard had no pulse. Inmates screamed and banged on doors so loud that deputies upstairs in court came running. They thought it was a big old fight going yeah. on down there. They thought it was taken over. He had keys and he had a gun. Yeah, it could have been extremely bad situation. Sergeant Ryan Spiegel rushed in first, corralled the inmates, still not completely understanding what was happening. Deputies started CPR. Paramedics arrived, shocked the guard, regained a pulse. Inmates watched life returning. Why did you do that? Because that's a good man. He saved a life. Uh, Nick Kelton says he's a meth addict facing his fourth trip to prison. Like Parker County Sheriff's uh, Captain Mark Garnett uh, believes prisoners certainly helped the guard and likely saved him. He could have been there 10, 15 minutes. And before anybody, you know, any other staff, any other sheriff's officer, or county personnel had walked in there and found him. To show one's true stripes is to reveal character. Nick Kelton and the others went to court expecting to do time, not to give it. I mean, it never crossed my mind not to, whether he's got a gun or a badge, if he falls down, I'm gonna help him. It seems natural to me. Yeah. The jailer doesn't want to be identified. He is expected to return to work next week. Ironically, that little holding pen that the inmates broke out of to raise the alarm, that's been reinforced so that that can't happen again. Live in weather for Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News.